Huh. Could have sworn I just heard someone go back there. Oh, it must have been. Whoever that one is. I imagine this is a pretty easy place to get lost in. Oh. Mahulak. He wants to be a leader, but spends too much time moping over women. Bolar and I should be all he needs. Okay. Good to know. What is she doing here? Uh, you a pilgrim or something? Orc chiefs should be strong and stand alone. They need no companions. Progeny is a all right then. I will just leave her to her ranting. That's weird. Okay, now I need to find a way down. There's the barrow. I know there should be a way down, kind of. Nearby-ish. Excerpt from Kinua's journal. When I was little, I was taught that raising my voice would get me hurt. I was taught that making myself heard was the quickest way to pain. As I grew up and started learning how to fight, the physical pain stopped, but the shouting didn't. My mother has a booming and resonant voice, one she's proud of, and should be. But it seeped through all the cracks and all the barriers I tried to place, and to this day, echoes in the cobweb spaces of my mind. What do we say, Kinoa? That wasn't very polite, Kinoa. Why don't you speak up, Kinoa? Sometimes I could have sworn she talked herself deaf. How strange that Tava, Kinnereth they call her here, would gift me with such a power as the Thum. The power to shape reality if only I could muster the courage to raise my voice. It's a wonderful gift, and a power I'm sure I can use for good if I try, but then my mother's voice booms in the back of my head, loud as thunder. Words I can't quite tell if she actually said or if I imagined them. Why would you think you're special? Why do you think your dreams mean anything? Magic is disgraceful, don't let the notion get stuck in your head. I don't want to use my voice like that. I don't want to hurt people. I want to help people. But even with such a gift, such a power, I don't know if I can on my own. Wind guide me. Alright, now let's see who's up here. If anybody. Seems kind of a weird place for a barrow. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Hey. Oh boy. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, ice magic. I mean, if you're gonna be blunt about it. You know, I really hope you mean Nern, because otherwise you're just plain wrong. Nobody leaves Nern alive. That's just how these things go. What is this? The Yellow Book of Riddles. Okay. Lockpick? I mean... They must not get a lot of, uh, business, shall we say. You're the mage. Yeah, nothing on her. But, 
Oh boy. Eh, this one looks relatively... Um... Eh, there we go. I feel like anyone could learn how to pick a basic lock. Like that one. I start getting into more complex stuff and you'd need a thief for that. I'd rather not. I say as I take a dead bandit's coin. Oh well. Okay. There's the barrow. Which means there might actually be... I wonder if there's a way down... That just goes up. Up to where exactly? Um, wait a minute. Are you kidding me? This is Orphan Rock! There was a way... There was a way down back here this whole time. And I never noticed because that flag was hiding behind a tree. Oh, Tava, I feel like an idiot right now. <laughs> okay. In which case, I'm kind of surprised that none of these bandits came out when they heard me getting... Um... When the Hagravens were attempting to melt my hide off. Hagraven singular. There were not more than one, if I remember correctly. Alright, let's see where this goes. If nothing else, if there's more bandits in here, they can clear them out. Oh, hello. Someone there? Yep, I'm behind you. Thought I heard something. Alright, come on. This what you want. You're gonna cry now, huh? <laughs> Ow. I missed. Alright, well. This is thick armor. He's got good shots, but a really, really crappy bow. Battle of Red Mountain and the rise and fall of the tribunal. I wonder if this is the one that the the thing the graybeards were talking about, and also the plaques. I don't see anything about Nords though. Just Dwemer. And Lorcan, and whoever David Arthur is. I have no idea what's going on here. Nothing about Nords. So I remain clueless. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, look at that! Oh, I'm taking that. I will consider that a gift from the gods because... Where did they find that? It must have taken out someone pretty powerful. Or rich, I'm not sure. Very strong aura on that ring. Very protective aura. Oh! I sense spiders in my near future. Oh, <laughs> it's a big one. Okay, well. I don't think Tom is going to lend me her bow for this, so I'll just use this one. Hey! You big ugly bug! 
You gonna turn around or are you stuck? Might be stuck. I'm perfectly okay whittling it down from here. Alright. These arrows are doing nothing. And I'm not the best shot, so let's just do this uh, the old fashioned way, yeah? You are the most oblivious spider I've ever met. There you go. Oh, yeah. That figures. He does not like this shield. Good to know. Okay. There's my arrows. Not sure why I'm taking them back. I never use them. They put those away. You're blocking the door. Ew. Let me just take care of that real quick. Oh, here we go. Were you guys gonna take care of that spider or was it your pet? Whoa. Nearly. Archer. Your end draws near. Interesting choice of words. They always seem so confident right before they bite it. Nice shield, but uh, I like mine better. I wonder how clean that water is. I'm not going to test it. Oh, I can sell that. And arrows, darts, whatever those are. Yeah, I think I can make tea out of this. Take a bit. Clean up the uh. Arch away a little. Least I can do. After all, I'm leaving a whole bunch of dead bodies in here. That's a little bit... I don't know what. Uh, okay. Is this out? It is! And it's raining. Okay. Where did I come out? Oh. Huh. I think this is just behind where I saw those... Yeah. You know, I really don't want to go messing with those things. They look like bad news to me. So I'm just gonna try not to break an ankle. Oh. There. Iron boots. Good for keeping your ankles straight. That was a good choice. These boots. I would like to get a matching pair of gauntlets, actually. I mean, I'm not sure if these Imperial ones are actually doing me any good in terms of... I don't know, people thinking I'm- what is going on down there? Uh... Okay. No. Sorry. Just curious. Confused. Oh. Must have gotten into a scuffle. You know, usually they travel in more than pairs. Which means they must have lost a couple on the way. On the way. Walk away. I'm walking.
<sighs> I'm not sure if it's because of just the Great War or, or the general state of everything right at the moment, but I just have a visceral hatred for those people. The Balmor. Just visceral. Oh, I saw that. Uh, interesting. I saw that fox. I don't know where it went. Okay, I wonder where- it oh, there's a fire up there. I'm going to see who's at it. Maybe get out of this rain if I can. I don't mind the rain, but it's freezing, so uh... Are we gonna do this, or...? Alright, I'll leave you to your cooking skeevers. Ugh. Have fun, guys. And there's Riverwood. So we're almost to Whiterun. I think the sapling is still okay, so that's good. Honestly, the rain is kind of peaceful. Even if it's freezing. The thunder doesn't seem too angry this time. There's angry thunder and then there's just kind of mumbly thunder. I like the mumbly kind. I should stop by the treehouse on the way back. Just to, you know, get out of this. Get something to eat, maybe? Make something to eat. And sell some things while I'm here. Seems like a reasonable idea. 